Hey everyone and welcome to Ubuntu Last Videos. In this video I'm going to go ahead and show you a bit more of an advanced installation technique for the Ubuntu system. Uh, I'll be doing all of this through the virtual machine, so bear with me. Uh, it's going to be the exact same steps, everything is in the same, it's just that for me I'm going to be using a virtual machine and you'll be using an actual computer. So let's go ahead and begin the usual steps. We go ahead and go into English. <coughs> for this purpose we are going to want to go into the try Ubuntu without any change to your computer place because in this area we're gonna actually be able to customize manually what we want to do so let's go ahead and start press that and we'll wait for the computer to start alright so when you're done waiting those 10 to 20 minutes for the computer to start up uh, we'll be back to our regular desktop it might seem familiar to you if, if you've already used Ubuntu if not then this is what it'll look like uh, what we want to do is first off, we'll go ahead and start the installation after a moment. First we're going to go ahead and do a few things. Um, what we want to do, this is one of my preferred installations, is to separate the home folder from the rest of your system. Meaning that uh, all the system files will be in one area and all your home files will be in one partition. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. Go into System, Administration, and G parted. We're going to be using the partition editor to kind of separate our partitions into two pieces. All right, we see we have a certain amount. Uh, it's already being used. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I have a swap in the very end. I'll keep the swap there. Uh, so what do we do? We have this big piece. We want to allocate two different pieces for uh, one part for the system and one part for the home folder. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, basically we can right click new uh, make the primary partition make it extension 4 is the newest extension make it a certain size uh, for Ubuntu the decent size will be 5 to 7 uh, <coughs> gigabytes or 5,000 7,000 megabytes for this for updates and all those other things in between sometimes I like to keep mine at about 9 or so, but for the purpose of this installation, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in half at about 4.9 something. And here we're going to go ahead and just finish this off and press add. Next part here, we're going to go ahead and press new. Again, make it extension 4, make it the primary, and we're just going to do the rest of the, the rest of the partition, just press add. Now we have two different partitions. We go ahead and press the check mark and press apply. And let the actual thing work itself through. Once all the operations complete, we'll go ahead and go into the installation part. And it's done. Press close. Go ahead and exit from or after the searching and scanning. Or you can just press close now. And we'll go ahead and start the installation. Double click on the install Ubuntu 9.10 on your desktop. And let's begin. Typical setups are the same uh, the time, the date, the language, and all of that. It'll all be the same. So go ahead and just go through the simple. Uh, settings like this once it loads it's gonna be a little small slow especially for you when you're using the CD okay go to English forward or whatever language you want to pick you don't have to pick English this is just me because I know English next is the setting up the clock <coughs> basically just put the time zone the computer will automatically try and find a time zone so go ahead and press forward and of course the next part is the keyboard settings where you actually uh, set up your keyboard uh, we'll go ahead and stay with the suggested option forward once more and this is where we begin our adventure into uh, setting up our partitioning areas so let's go ahead and begin when the partitioner starts uh, instead of the options that are available to you uh, by default you'll see in a second once it loads we have the install side by side, erase the entire disk, or we're going to use the specify partitions manually for advanced. So go ahead and click on that and click forward. The next screen will be a list of all the partitions on your hard drive and if you have any other USB plugged in that will also show on your um, on your on the list basically. All right, and there we are. There are the two partitions that we made. Right now, it has no mount point. Uh, they're all just blank. They're just partitions. They're extension four, and this one is swap. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and begin. Uh, we're gonna do the SDA one. I'll just do it by order from top to bottom. Double click on that. 
and the edit up edit partition area go ahead you can change the size as well if you want to but I'll just keep it as it is I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, again extension 4 I'm gonna click on the format button and in the mount point, this is key here, in the mount point press slash. This is the root of all your system. This is where all the system files will go. This is what determines whether this is a system file or the home folder. So by the slash, we mean the root partition. After the setup and all the searching again, uh, we will be able to change the next part. Now we can simply do the next part, which is extension uh, this SDA3, which is the other partition we made. You can actually see the colors up here. But let's go ahead and double click on this now. Inside again, we're going to set it to extension 4 and format the partition. Notice that um, this is the first, actually, no, let's not do format. Um, the basis for this is we don't want to format. If we're going to use, let me just go ahead and put the mount point slash home. This is going to be where all your home folders are at. When you first make this partition out of scratch, then you can do the format. But when you're, let's say, reinstalling Ubuntu with the latest version, don't format the home partition because if you keep it at regular, all Ubuntu is going to install are the system files and you get to keep all of your home folder stuff in here without erasing anything. So let me go ahead and clear that up once again. When you're first installing this setup, you can go ahead and format so, so everything is nice and clean. But if you already have the setup, the slash and the slash home, you have to leave the second part unformatted so that um, when you reinstall Ubuntu, let's say 10.04, the next version from scratch, oh, the only files being formatted or edited will be the mount point. Everything in here, because it's not being formatted, formatting means delete, uh, everything in here will stay the same and I'll take you to the next part and I'll show you how you can actually keep using the same username with the same settings uh, the same way. So again the steps are format this part, put a slash in the mount point, uh, put a slash home in this mount point and don't format this one if this is the second time you're doing this. We're gonna go in forward and we've basically got the partitioning set up. Now when you're using, uh, if you already have let's say a boot to partition installed and this is going to be an update from an old version to a newer version, basically if you haven't formatted your home directory, which you shouldn't if you want to keep your files, you can basically still use the same username you're using before, just simply put in the same exact name as your other username, as the original username on your Ubuntu. So if you if you first installed Ubuntu with Chris, go ahead and put Chris again so that you can maintain the same username, the same uh, settings that you already have in the home folder. Again, now we just put in our password. <coughs> and we can rename our laptop if we want to and require password to log in and we click forward. So let's go ahead and do one more review. When you are installing this sort of setup, uh, do not format your home folder, the slash home, because that is where all your home files are. If you don't want, if you don't, of course, lose them. Uh, when you first install Ubuntu, you have a username. That username will be some name that you made. For me, it'll be Chris. Now, when I reinstall the latest version of Ubuntu, I'm going to use the exact same username I used before so that I can have the same settings as before. And of course, do not uh, make sure that your home folder is not being um, deleted or formatted. And we can see this is all the partitions going to be formatted. And here, what it says for extension 4 and extension or swap. So we don't have our. Um, home folder being formatted basically so then we can just go ahead and click install and finish off with the installation and in this way again your system files and your home files will be separated so that when you update your Ubuntu system through a live CD you can again separate the installation and only the only things that are going to be changed are the system files and your home folder will be the same and nothing is going to be erased that's basically all this is again the installation goes the same way the little PowerPoint and so on and so forth uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, interesting for you and that you found it useful because this can help you uh, maintain all your files without deleting them. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll be making more videos soon.